morning routine man I never thought I'd make a video on what I do in the morning but I suppose it's definitely well not suppose it definitely is helpful to help me stay consistent with training diet and be as like productive as I can be as a normal dude so oh I've not got the mic connected what a mong am I in focus or what this auto focus is shit look at this auto focus dude well well I don't know what I'm doing but let's try a different mode obviously this is not the morning I'm gonna take you through the day how I set up for the morning and it's not like I do this no matter what I live and die by it I mean if I'm really tired at night, I just don't put an alarm on and chill out. Sleeps. Sleep is the key, man. But I'll show you how I set up. Because I get up fairly, I guess, about like half five. Between five and half five, I know it's like, whoa. I can just get what I need to get done in the morning rather than later at night. It just works out better for me. It's um, That's the way it goes, man. Eight hours sleep is between seven and eight hours sleep is a must for me. I just I'm not I'm not playing unless I get seven or eight hour hours sleep, man. I'm just not doing anything. So it's it's nothing crazy, man. Very basic, but a little bit of like I think meditation would be a strong word for it. But untangling the mind in the morning and we just cruise through the morning. But I'll show you I'll show you exactly what I do. Um, but for now, it's Friday, I've got anterior chain session, it's really, really, really hot, man. Very humid. It's, um, I, I've been making this little intro for about four minutes, and my breasts are sweating. So, let's go, um, let's go and train, man. Yeah man, that was a decent session, despite being very hot. But you've caught me, you've actually caught me on the day that I'm doing my first run in, this is, this will be 10 days man. So I stuck to the plan, um, shins are feeling just fully healed, so. We'll be sweet from this point on. The main thing that's messing me up is going to play football and sort of getting carried away and chasing the ball around like a headless chicken. So, um, right, on the on the menu today is just 20 minutes. Literally as slow as you can go. There we go, geez, 20 minutes, 11 minute miles. It's actually quite hard to run that slow, like consistently, but sticking to the plan, just up in the, up in the volume like, Literally, I'm going to add five, five or ten minutes on each run, which will be every couple of days. And fingers crossed, we've um, we've done every. I've been doing loads of exercises with tib raises, making sure I isolate best I can the soleus, like leaning over, knees over toes guy. Shout out to that dude helping me out. But yeah, man. What was I going to say? Like that leads me to my. Like point about morning routine, obviously if you have a dog shit night's sleep, you're never going to want to do anything in the morning, man. So one way of get, improving your sleep is getting, getting some sun on you, man. I know you might be thinking that's easy for you to say in Thailand, especially English winters. They are, they are depressing, to say the least. But even if it's you sat near a window, man, 
on them winter, winter days, just getting a couple of rays, it will help. But if you can, when you can, get outside, man. In fact, more time you spend outside, the better your life's going to be. You can take that to the bank, man. But that does bring to my mind, eventually the game plan is... I say eventually, in the next, I want to think at least like six months, going to get a little training facility near Chiang Rai, going to fly people to Thailand, a week of training, eating, biking, whatever. And that's the sort of game plan, medium to long term, get people out for training. Because Thailand sound, man, and people want to come. But right now i'm gonna i'm gonna get a turbo smoothie get some more sun and then i'm gonna go and get a massage i think yeah man it's friday friday massage yeah man I've once again absolutely nailed the viscosity of this movie and the taste you want it I was just about to say <laughs> you want it like a 5 out of 10 effort on sucking on the straw but we won't talk about sucking stuff we won't do that man I'm gonna consume this in the sun and see about getting a massage massage last meal going in loads of veg bit of rice good amount of chicken so that leads me on to another point for the morning routine I have to make sure I eat my last meal at the very latest I'm pushing it now 8 8 p.m. go to bed around half nine ten and I if I eat, if I eat before I'm going to bed man I sleep like shit just digesting the food, farting in that man, just keeps you up. So make sure I get my meal the very latest, 8 p.m. Let it digest. I even, I, I take the, the bin out and that and I just walk around the little area here, what's in front of the house, just let it help, help the food digest a little bit quicker, man. But yeah, so, I eat this and I'll talk if I've got a few other little tips for the sleep and then I will go to sleep. This I, I just had loads of veg in there so I thought I'm gonna make a massive stir fry. Chili, oyster sauce, chili sauce, then dodgy Japanese mushrooms, Chinese kale. Yeah, not bad man. Not bad. Ideally, that's why I want. That's why I normally use a dog bowl, but mine's dirty at the minute. So I'm, I'm double, double slamming it, double plates, Tupperware there, man. So if you live in a tropical climate, you want to be at around 24 degrees. I find that works best. Obviously, pretty lucky to have aircon, so. So if you've got a fan, you've got a fan, man. It's tough titties. But a couple other things. Earplugs. Aircon's fairly loud, so I like to put earplugs in. I literally can't sleep without earplugs now. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And I also wear a little... It's like a bandana over my eyes. Just a face mask, basically. So I'm in dark, quiet, and optimal temperature. I think I've read somewhere it's better off sleeping colder than hotter. But 24 degrees is sweet for me. And to, to mo in the morning I'm getting up at half five in the morning. Set the alarm and we're good to go man. 5.30 and that's, that's all prep for the quote unquote morning routine man. But I'll see you in the morning. Bright and early. Yeah, man.
man. So this is the morning routine. So, as you saw, make a coffee, get some water in the tank, hydrate, and then come outside. This is where the, the mind games start, the mindfulness. Basically, grab the coffee, first sip goes in, and then, first sip I've got like, I don't know what the right word is, I suppose you could say mantra, bit heavy word that, but basically, mission statement, how I'm going to do it, why I'm doing it, why it's going to work sort of thing, three or four times in the head. I feel a bit weird telling you this, but that's what I do, man. Right, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Three or four times. And then back on the coffee. Couple more sips. Let that sink in, let that really go in the, go in the head. And settle in, settle in, that's, that's the mission, man. But next but like i said a couple more sips of coffee just chill a bit and then gratitude i know you see it on the internet everywhere it's a bit it's a bit it's one of them and it's becoming a bit bit cringe like that but it does work man like i say it's um i like to say three or four things i'm grateful for but with a little twist like not obviously everybody should be grateful for like the your family, you, you live in a house and all that shit. But I like to go specific on like the previous day. So like, for example, I'm grateful for a massage yesterday. Or I'm grateful for the viscosity in my smoothie yesterday. So the more specific, the better. That just let, lets you, so this day, so this day coming now, I'm just gonna be looking out for little specific things I can say. To, in the morning to myself like I said I feel a bit weird telling you that but that's what I do man so and it helps and also a very important rule is I turn my alarm off in the morning on my phone I don't touch my phone until about 9 10 a.m. so basically I normally finish doing this bit here at 6 a.m. go in and I'm on the laptop for like three hours three 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 and a half hours I know you might have been expecting like a mad run cycle or something like that, but I basically just do the thing that's hardest for me in the morning. Like I, like I literally love training, like resistance training, cycling, running, whatever. I love that shit. I'm going to get that done. Whatever's programmed in for the day will get ticked off. So, but I don't really... No, I don't enjoy it. I don't mind it, but as the day goes on, you sort of your con your concentration weans, and I I would I've, well, like I say, I've tried a million things. I need to get the thing. I need to get the work done in the morning, or I just sometimes don't get it done. So, if if that's whatever the top of this, editing a video, programming for clients, setting new clients up, whatever, I just take that off in the morning. And yeah, man, that's the morning routine. Like I say, I mean, that's what I do, so. So three practical things you can take away from this video is set up for your sleep the day before. Do the thing that you struggle with the most in the morning. If that's cardio, do your cardio. If that's resistance training, do your resistance training. Um, but just do the thing you struggle with personally the most. And then number three, don't touch your phone, man. I just thought I'd do the morning routine. I see people doing it. That's what I do. Nothing crazy. Definitely nothing crazy. But like I say, it help, helps me. Uh, helps me with the training, with the nutrition, and being about as productive, productive as I can get, man. So, oh, good. Drop a like. Drop a comment for the algo. I'll see you next time, man.